Home is where your story begins. For the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes, their story began in 1858 with their first convent in Barton, Wisconsin. 158 years later, members of the congregation have created a home for their stories on two walls that showcase their inspired mission and their invaluable legacy. Ceiling to floor wall murals have been constructed and installed. The first panels show the life-size faces of the three founders, Mother Agnes Hazett, Father Casper Rarell, and Father Francis Haas. The legacy and history walls are a testimony to ordinary sisters who did extraordinary things through the grace of God. The selected stories reflect the courage and deep faith of sisters who were passionate in their service to God's people. Sister Margaret Lorimer, author of the book Ordinary Sisters, the story of the Sisters of St. Agnes, was one of the committee members who created the walls. I was honored to be asked to help select the material for these wall panels. It has been an experience to walk in the shoes of sisters who lived with the area farm families, who taught immigrant children and barely survived their ordeals. The average age of the first 15 members to die were 22 years. These women were not thinking of their legacy, rather they were striving to live their vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Later, as the congregation grew, members in the Midwest went south to live and worked during the Civil Rights Movement. Sisters served on the Indian reservations in the Southwest, and the sisters were also missionaries to Latin America and Russia. This exhibit shows the historical timeline and also the warmth, passion, and heart of the story of CSA. The Legacy and History Walls concludes in 2008. The walls bear testimony to the ministries of the Sisters in Education and Healthcare in the Fond du Lac area across the United States and in Latin America. <laughs>